Good morning. Welcome to the second committee hearing regarding introduction 514A, sponsored by Councilmember Lansman. This introduction will require the Department of Corrections to distribute written notice regarding the voting rights of formerly incarcerated persons in the state of New York upon release, along with voter registration forms. Additionally, it would also help, it would also require the Campaign Finance Board with assistance from the Voter Assistance Advisory Committee to include incarcerated and formerly incarcerated persons in activities they undertake aimed at encouraging and facilitating incarcerated persons in activities and, oh sorry, uh, in voter registration and conduct training for relevant DOC staff. Under this bill, written notice must include information regarding the date of voter eligibility. If passed, uh, intro number 514A would help inform justice-involved populations who have been disenfranchised due to widespread miseducation regarding voter eligibility. Uh, I will note this bill had a hearing, uh, I think, last month, and uh, we are uh, looking to take a vote on this today. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to uh, invite a member of the committee, but also sponsor of the bill, Council Member Rory Lansman, to make a statement. Thank you very briefly. Um, I'm very proud to support the passage of Intro 514 to give those released from Department of Corrections custody information about their voting rights and access to a voter registration form. An overwhelming number of individuals released from DOC custody have the right to vote, yet the majority are unaware of that right. Misinformation about voting policies and laws sows confusion among formerly incarcerated people. We know that rebuilding societal ties reduces recidivism for justice-involved people, and my legislation is another step we must take to re-enfranchise those communities. Informing justice-involved individuals of their voting rights will only lead to a more democratic, inclusive, and engaged city. I'd like to thank the chair, Keith Powers, um, for his support for this legislation and for conducting that hearing, and the committee staff, especially Alana Sivin, who worked hard to make this legislation inclusive. Thank you very much. Thank you. With that, I wanted to also note that in addition to Councilmember Lance, we're joined by Councilmember Ampre Samuel, Councilmember Bob Holden, and Councilmember Carlina Rivera. Uh, with that, I think I'm gonna ask the clerk to take the, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on criminal justice, introduction 514A, chair powers. I vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. Ampre Samuel. Let me just first say thank you, Councilmember Lanceman, for your leadership and your dedication at a time when criminal justice reform is so necessary and uh, um, election reform, as we all know, is um, extremely necessary. I was um, very proud to be able to be supportive, so um, thank you for your leadership and thank you, um, Chair Powers, for your leadership as well, and I vote aye. Holden. Aye. Rivera. Aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, and I just want to note for uh, uh, committee members that our hearing that was scheduled for Thursday is going to be moved to another date, potentially next week or the week after, so we'll be keeping updated on that. Thank you. This is adjourned.